All right. Hello, welcome to another edition of A Few Minutes with the Mayor. I'm Damian Graham with the City of Raleigh. And of course, we are here with the one and only Nancy McFarlane, our great mayor. Uh, lots of things have been going on recently, a lot of big decisions by the council. So we'll just jump right into a, okay. to a, a couple issues. Uh, one of the first ones is uh, bike share. The council, after quite a bit of deliberation, right. um, weighed this issue and has decided to move forward with bike share. What is bike share? Uh, and what does it mean for our city? Well, Bike Share is a program where we have basically bike racks all around the city. I think we're starting out with about 30 locations. And you can either rent the bike for an hour, you can get a pass. So, you know, it's probably a year pass. You can use it whenever you want. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. And um, I was really surprised at the outpouring of support for this program. We heard from so many people. It's very popular. Um, you know, it, it works with a lot of things we're doing. Um, clearly, we are interested in expanding our transportation options. And so if someone has the ability to bike a short distance and not have to get in your car and, you know, go a little way and find a place to park again, that works. Uh, tourists, it's very popular. And tourists, it's also, you know, we're seeing it in a lot of the cities we're competing with. So it's one of those things that people are starting to come to expect. And we felt that we needed to step it up. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking forward to it coming. Uh, and so sort of in the same vein of, of folks coming and we're filming this this morning, uh, almost close to lunchtime, so I'm very hungry, and the, the next topic is food trucks. So uh -huh. we've now decided to move forward with food trucks. Tell us more about that program. Oh, that's true. We have had uh, food trucks before us before, and in the UDO we expanded you know, some of the districts they could be in. But we had some requests for specific areas, um, really from businesses that really wanted a food truck in their area really saw the need. Either there was, weren't uh, restaurants available or for whatever reason, and there were five of them. So what we decided to do was to start like a pilot program. And, uh, you know, we clearly set the parameters because you always worry about noise and cleanliness and all those other things. But we're gonna go ahead and the best part, I think, is it really it does engage those people that made the request. They are taking an active part in kind of managing how that all works. I mean, if say you were one of the ones that wanted the food truck and there was a spot on your street or a spot near you that you really thought would be perfect, we're gonna let you uh, work with us to try and figure out, you know, do you think one truck a week or one a month or whatever, and you're really, you know, gonna take on a lot of that responsibility. So we're doing all the usual safety and all those kinds of things and the people, I think it's, it's, it's gonna be really interesting. We'll see how it works out. Sounds great. Yep. Uh, so let's take to a more serious time. Okay. Um, I know that there's been a lot of conversation with the council about um, how we engage with our community, and particularly with our police force and community policing. And one of the steps we're taking is deciding to move forward with body-worn cameras on the police. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for our police department? What is the program we're moving forward with? And what can folks can expect from this? Right. Well, obviously, this is a movement across the country in all cities and municipalities are talking about this. And as we started to look into it, we realized just how many questions there are uh, surrounding it. Uh, there are obviously all different types of, the hardware comes in different forms, but there's a lot of questions about s storage. That's a lot of, with 700 officers, that's a lot of video data. How much of it is public record? Um, there are questions about personal privacy you know if there may be instances where a you know policeman whether it's domestic abuse or whatever that the you know victim doesn't want the camera turned on so what the police department is doing is really compiling all of that and they're doing that in the context of trying to build a small pilot program that we can start with but I think it's it's the more we get into it the more we questions we find so um, they're going to take their time and they're they're really reaching out and talking to people all across the country and they'll come back to us at some point sort of with how they think we can start out and you know i, I know they've got a lot of questions to answer but right they'll do a good job well so for my next question there's no easy segue um, <laughs> there's been a lot of conversation about some recent legislation most folks may have seen in the papers uh, written as house bill 2 mm -hmm. it's also been referenced as the bathroom bill um, and there's some concern about what that means for our city. Mm -hmm. 
tell us, uh, you had made a statement about it, uh, right. released it to the public. Share with us more about that statement and, and what this means for us. Well, there's a couple things. I mean, of course, there's the legal ramifications. And we, to be honest, th we're still really looking at that. I mean, our attorney's office gave us a preliminary draft on what, uh, what they feel are going to be sort of the legal impacts. But, you know, more importantly, I think that what I want everybody to understand is that we are still the same people we were before that bill was passed. You know, we are an amazing community of supportive, diverse people. You know, you see, uh, all you have to do is walk down almost any street, go to any park, you know, the go down to the warehouse district and see the startup community and see all the different kinds of people there and all the businesses we have here. And I know there's been a lot of press and I think we're still going to have a, a lot more discussion in the press, but fundamentally we haven't changed one bit. And um, that's, I think, the message that I want everybody to know. We are, you know, still treat everybody with respect, no matter who you are. Every single person is welcome here and I hope that people continue to come and get us, uh, give us a chance to prove that because I don't have any doubt that whether you're thinking about bringing your business here or coming to visit or anything else, once you get here, you're going to understand that, you know, we define who we are. That's great. Well, so I should say that we are, are filming this from the Raleigh Convention Center. That's mm -hmm. what you see behind us. Yep. And you can perhaps hear some folks in the background. Uh, it is springtime. <laughs> Spring is about renewal and all things uh, new. The azaleas are blooming. So what are you looking forward to that's new or, or coming up this spring? You know, that's a good question. Um, first of all, I'm looking forward to it really being spring because I don't want any more freeze warnings. I want either. it to really be spring, but you know, I love doing things outside and this community loves, loves doing things outside. So, you know, the opening of the Red Hat Amphitheater, I'm excited to see who's coming, you know, Walnut Creek. We have so much going on, whether it's First Friday, people walking around outside, just being on the Greenway. Um, you know, of course, continuing to check out Dick's Park mm -hmm. whenever I can. Um, you know, I think that this is a community that really does um, does love to be outside, and it's it's such a friendly, welcoming community that it's just um, that's one more way that we express ourselves. So I'm just looking forward to being warm and hanging out. I'll leave to that. Me too. So <laughs> that is all the time we have okay, for today. Thanks. I appreciate the mayor being here and thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you.